Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief explanation on how to use Google Earth online. Students in my courses will need to know how to use this program, but anybody with an interest in learning more about the Earth can benefit from this tutorial. I'll show you how to start the program, how to navigate the controls, and how to search and find for any feature on Earth's surface that you are interested in. So, let's get started and jump right in. First, we're going to navigate our web browser to earth.google.com. Then we're going to click the Launch Earth button, and it opens in a new window. And when it does, you can close down that first tab that you don't need anymore. As soon as it's done loading, you're ready to go. Next, let's talk about the navigation controls. To pan around, simply left-click with your mouse and drag left and right or up and down. To zoom in and out, use the right-click button. Right click and drag down to zoom in or drag up to zoom out. You can also use a mouse scroll wheel if you have one, but it goes in fairly large steps, so you'll have to use the right click button for finer adjustments. The final thing you need to know how to do is how to tilt your view up and down or to rotate your orientation. And you do that by using the shift button, pressing and holding the shift button and then using the left click. If you drag left and right, you will rotate your orientation. If you instead drag up and down, you will change your tilt of your view. These controls can take a little bit of getting used to, but once you do, you'll be able to navigate around Google Earth fairly quickly and efficiently by just using the keys and the mouse. Right click, left click, and shift are the buttons you all need to be able to navigate successfully around Google Earth. Let's zoom around here in Rocky Mountain National Park and see if we can get a closer look here at Long's Peak. Shift and drag to change the orientation or the tilt, right click and drag up and down to change the zoom, and left click to pan side to side or up and down. Those are the basic controls and that's all you need to know how to do in order to navigate to anywhere you want to go in Google Earth. Now let's say you wanted to look for a specific place. There are two quick ways to search for features in Google Earth. One of which is to just come up here to the search button and just type in the name of the place you want to see. Let's type in Grand Teton National Park. The animation will quickly fly us to the location that we've typed in. Once I'm there, I can use those navigation tools we talked about to pan around, tilt, zoom, anything else I need to do to see the terrain from just about any vantage point. There we go. That looks really good. When you click on certain places, such as Grand Teton Mountain here, it'll open up a little information card over here. And often these contain Wikipedia links that will take you to the Wikipedia page for those places. That can be pretty useful to find out more information about a specific place that you're looking at. If you ever get kind of lost in your orientation and you just want to get pointed back to north, a handy thing you can do is click the little compass icon and it will automatically rotate your orientation so that north is back looking up. The second way to search for something is to instead of using the name of the feature simply typing in the latitude and longitude coordinates for the location. So I'm going to go in here to the search bar and type in 25694 In this location, once I hit enter is going to fly us immediately to a location that shows the Owens River and some really fantastic meanders in this stream channel. Again, when I'm here, I can use these navigation controls we discussed to tilt the view, 
pan around, zoom in and out, and see the place from any vantage point that's possible. So it's a really easy and amazing tool to use, and there's so much more you can see, and there's so much more you could talk about with this program too, but I'll leave more details for maybe another time. I'll leave some interesting places to explore down in the video description, and how about you post me some locations that you like in the comments. Let me know what you're looking for and what you find interesting in Google Earth. All right, happy exploring. Hope this was helpful and useful to you, and I'll see you in the next one.